Well, good Monday morning. Welcome back to three news first edition. Here's the weekly planner and outlook for the next seven days. Morning clouds and afternoon sunshine for today, and it'll be pretty much the same weather pattern going forward through tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and ultimately into this weekend. There is a small chance at rain late tonight into tomorrow, but notice that they're just going to be isolated showers here and there. Maybe a rumble of thunder, but the big story is the Saharan dust that's out there reducing our air quality and also producing a hazy sky. In fact, you can see that on our lakes cam at North Beach this morning, some hazy conditions out in the middle to lower levels of the atmosphere. We're at 78 degrees right now. East winds at five. And because of some humidity at the surface and light surface winds, well, we have some fog developing out near Orange Grove, Atlas, Kingsville, anywhere west of, let's say, Highway 77. That's where the fog is really developing and becoming a bit more widespread. So you'll have to contend with that if you're commuting out this morning, especially west of the coast. And aside from that, you know, partly cloudy skies and zooming out, more widespread cloud cover out near Del Rio, Eagle Pass, maybe near Houston, but uh, most of the rain is well removed from us. So we're looking at a dry forecast for today, a high near 90 degrees and uh, partly cloudy by this afternoon. Southeast winds very light, 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles an hour. Now there's, there is a front out in central Texas and that is stalled out near San Angelo. Uh, let's say uh, Austin and what that's doing that's producing some rain out there. A few storms uh, sparking off this boundary out to our north and east near I-45 College Station, and this does extend its reach into Louisiana. Some uh, good heavy downpours near Shreveport and near I-20 and just north of I-10 this morning. So what's to come? We have a low out northeast that's going to swing eastward by this week, and this ridge of high pressure will remain stagnant for the next couple of days over the desert southwest, uh, the four corners and Nevada. That's going to produce some really bad heat. In fact, uh, heat related advisories and warnings in effect for that part of the country. Uh, but for us, uh, we're actually going to be in a very quiet weather flow. Each ridge of high pressure stays out west. There's one that stays east over Florida and that renders us just dry with just very small rain chances. So tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, and maybe even late tonight, closer to midnight, there may be a few isolated showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm around the coastal bend. Uh, but impressive, no, it's not going to be great. Nothing scattered nor numerous, just a few spotty downpours here and there in the overnight hours into tomorrow afternoon. Let's talk about the tropics. There is nothing out there, in fact, and that's great news, especially as we're in the heart of hurricane season. The Hurricane Center says there is no activity expected over the next two days, so that's fantastic news. And the reason why it's so quiet is because there is so much dry air in the form of Saharan dust. Remember, dust acts as uh, a weakness to tropical systems as long as it's around. No hurricanes are going to strengthen, and it looks like by Thursday, Friday, more dust moves into the coastal bend with some out there right now. So the air quality forecast is moderate for today. If you have any respiratory difficulty, if you have asthma, emphysema, COPD, you're going to want to limit time outdoors because that may be a problem if you're going outside today. All right, seven day forecast shows uh, temperatures near 90 below average for the next seven days. Plenty of sunshine each day, morning clouds, afternoon sunshine. A small chance of rain late tonight into tomorrow, Wednesday as well. Other than that, quiet forecast as we cruise into the middle of July. Barbie. Thank you, Ryan.